when is the best week all year to put your home on the market? Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, and I've been a real estate agent for well over a decade, sold 5,000 homes and a billion dollars in sales. And this is one of the most common questions I get from our clients, people we've worked with, we've helped sell people's homes over the years, every single year, and that's when should I put my home on the market? When is the best timing to put on the market? And aside from market conditions, whether it's a buyer's market or a seller's market, whether the inventory is high or low or interest rates are high or low, there's statistics that show us that there's a single week that's better than all the rest. And here's what we look at. We look at when the home hits the market and what does it sell for in terms of list to sale price ratio. They've actually found looking at thousands of different sales, and this is through companies like Zillow and CoreLogix that look at massive amounts of data across the entire United States. And they found that the second week of March, the second week of March is far and away the very best week all year to list your home. And here's why. Traditionally, there's seasonality. In almost every marketplace, there's seasonality in real estate. There's the winter market, there's the uh, late, later winter market, there's the spring, there's the summer, and there's the fall. And those are usually tied to seasons. So a lot of people in the Northeast or the Northwest or even you know the Midwest, there's definitely a winter seasonality where the marketplace slows down in the winter. There's less sunlight. There's less light out. So people can't look at homes longer, right? So it gets dark at four, 430 in the Northwest where we're from. People just aren't, the foot traffic goes down. People aren't as happy when there's not enough sunlight, right? So there's not enough momentum and positivity. Plus there's the holidays. The holidays, no matter where you're at, is a seasonal effect that has an effect on people, people buying and selling of real estate. So that's a seasonal thing. During that time period from fall or late summer through the holidays and the new year, because there's less sunlight, there's less foot traffic and people are busy with the holidays, inventory drops. Let me say that again. Inventory drops traditionally from around set, late September through January and February. And so it's dropping, dropping until it hits this point in March. And there's this inflection point in March, the second week of March, that the inventory starts rising. And so it's a lot, the analogy is it's a lot like catching a wave if you're surfing. You want to start preparing your home for sale in February so that you can catch that wave, the second week of, week of March wave, and ride that wave. Because as a seller, you want less competition. So you want the least amount of homes on the market to compete against. You might have the right pricing, the right marketing, the right everything, but if someone else is a little bit better, a better home, better quality, better price, you're not gonna sell. So we wanna be the best home out there. We want all of the buyers fighting over our home. And that's why you list the second week of March. Now, second best week is really the third week in March and then the fourth week in March. And then from then, you're going to have to be jumping into, you know, May or June, uh, probably before or after the school year are really good weeks. And then before school gets in, like a few weeks before school, people want to get into the school year. School year is another seasonal effect that you need to consider. Everyone thinks it's the, the seasons, but the school year is another season. I call the school year a new year because it changes everything for like, let's say half the buyers out there are affected by the school year with kids or without kids because people have grandkids and daycare and other responsibilities. But back to the point of this video, you want to list your home with the least amount of homes possible. And if you want to get the most money, regardless of what's happening in the marketplace, just seasonality, the best week all year, bar none, is the second week of March, and then followed up by the third and fourth week of March.